Hey friends, welcome or welcome back. My name is Allie and this is Planning with Boys. And today we're gonna be cash stuffing a total of $678. Uh, 235 is gonna go to bills. 443 will go into savings, yes. So let's count real quick. So one, two, three. So 300 plus 50, 150, 150, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 6, 7, 8, yep, we're good. Um, no 8 bucks today, unfortunately. Um, today, we are going to be cash stuffing my bills binder, my savings challenges binder, and my sinking funds uh, in 100 envelope. So, today we're going to be talking about uh, Jazz and Tass Whitehead. So, thanks B for the suggestion. Um, let's start off with my bills. So, we're going to be talking about 16 year old identical twins. Uh, Jasmia and Tasmia Whitehead. They brutally actually beat and stabbed their own mother, Nikki, to death. So, yes, we're gonna do the Hello Kitty and we get the, I'm kind of prepared, but not really. Hello, Hello Skull Kitty is a savings challenge I'm using for my car. It's gonna get $10 and this is by KTW Planning and Budgeting. So I have 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 20, 120. So um, on November, November, th on November 1993, sorry, Nikki Whitehead gave birth to two identical twins, uh, Tasmia and Jasmia. She nicknamed, nicknamed them, Nick, Nay, why can't I say that? Nick named them Jas and Taz. This is real life, guys. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Can't concentrate. So this is what it looks like up close. So she nicknamed them Jazz and Tass. Wow. Uh, Nikki was 18 years old when she gave birth to the girls. Um, so she quickly realized that she wasn't re really ready for motherhood. So she ended up leaving the girls with her great grandmother. No, her grandmother who raised her. Um, so it was the twins great grandmother. So lending club and actually I'm going to take this money out soon. Gets 164, oop, 150, 60, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let me count it real quick. So lending club has 1, 2, 3, 100, 350, 400, 450, 450, 460, 70, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 71, 72. Um, so anyways, uh, so the girls were raised by their great-grandmother, Della, for 13 years um, until, you know, Nikki got her life together. So she ended up getting her life together and got custody of the girls in 2007. And she ended up moving them with her. Uh, it was like 30 minutes from where they lived with originally with Grandma. So Amazon gets $26. So, um... It now has 20, 45, 50, 1, 2. Unfortunately for Nikki, this was not the happy reunion she was hoping for. The twins consistently clashed with, with her, with Nikki. Uh, so Jazz and Tess got into physical altercations with Nikki. And in 2008, the girls actually got removed from Nikki and they went back to great grandma uh, until a judge actually court ordered them back to Nikki's uh, in January of 2010 for a two-week trial right just to see if like the girls would bond or whatever again with the mother anyways shortly after Nikki would have would be killed by them so Ashley gets 45 20 40 and 5 Ashley has 20 40 60 80 
590. Okay, so on January uh, 13, the girls ran outside and saw a police officer walking by. They called him in. They were visibly shaken and they told the police officer that, you know, they just got back from school and that they, you know, saw their mom, her mom's slain body in the bathtub. So the police officer was quoted by saying, oh, care critic is 15, uh, by saying it was the bloodiest scene I think I've ever been to. He says that he uh, could smell the copper iron before he even walked in. So he can smell the blood before he walked in. Uh, care credit has 10, 20, 35, 45. So Nikki Whitehead, she suffered from multiple stab wounds to her lungs, her jugular vein, and her spinal cord. Her spinal cord was almost severed, guys, almost. Um, home gets nothing this time. So I am done with this binder. Um, so at the time, Jazz and Taz, they weren't really su suspected of doing this to their mother, right? So investigators initially suspected um, Nikki's boyfriends, so one boyfriend and a husband and the husband, and they were actually ruled out. Um, they were cleared of suspicion um, after the investigation went through. Oh, I forgot to pull this BRB. Okay, I'm back. I pulled it. This I labeled it dice game, but it's really roll the dice challenge. It's a 52 week challenge, and actually, I am. Oh, Currently, we're on week 37, so I'm behind. This is by uh, Tracy Monsters Savings, um, so I'm behind. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cash stuff seven bucks. So here's my seven dollars. Let's count real quick before I begin with... Well, you know what? Let me start the story. Why not, right? Let me put this away first, actually, because I can't concentrate. <laughs> um, so the when investigators spoke to Jazz and Taz, they found a, like inconsistencies with their stories. So they had claimed that they were in school all day, but that was untrue. Both Jazz and Taz, um, they were at school, but they weren't there all day. They they were there later on. So there was like cameras at school showing them, um, like showing up way later. And then they the police officer saw them walking past the gas station, which was also um, a video. So I'm going to show you guys that real quick. Or walking past a gas station together and then were picked up around 10 a.m. on the school's CCTV, arriving late to their classes. But both arrived at the same time, further cementing the prosecution's theory of them working together. So as you can clearly see, they weren't at school all day. Uh, both Jazz and Taz had scratches all over them and bite marks. Um, and they tried to actually hide that from police officers. Uh, Roll the dice has one, two... 2, 20, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 2, 3, 2, 53. I don't know what this is going for. I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice because today's week 37, so I should be cashed up in 37 and it's not happening. So we're just going to roll the dice. I'm going to do it all the way to 40. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Okay, so I did it all the way to the 40th, so 23 bucks eventually. Um, I rolled seven, four, five, and seven again. So we'll see where I'm at. So depending, I guess, what week I end up stuffing, that's when we'll cash stuff. That. Anyways, where was I? Okay, so both girls um, denied their involvement in their mother's killing. And then at one point, Jess had said, I'm going to show you a video clip after the fact. So she she got she was overheard saying the day that you find a murder weapon with my fingerprints on it or something please do that please find a murder weapon and then it will be different for reals so here goes the video okay so as you guys can tell they were, um, oh, I forgot to put the money in here. Okay, well, not the money, but the placeholder. Anyways, I did end up um, taking the money that was already in there, and I made a payment of 400 and something dollars. 
So I will put that in the screen. I think it was like 4.15ish maybe, I can't remember. But anyways, so this is going to my um, Navy Federal and I'm gonna put $20 in there. Uh, I'm gonna try to put $20 every single time. So I'm gonna put a placeholder in here. I've been really bad about that. I, I'll, I'll walk you through a lot of things that I've been bad at. So this is gonna be eventually green. I'm gonna try to do like rainbow colorish. I don't know, so let me color two tents. Okay, so um, authorities, because the girls had initially said that somebody had broken into their house and that's how they found their mom, whatever. So the authorities had concluded that nobody really broke into their home and that whoever um, did this to Nikki, she knew she knew who attacked her. She knew them. So let's do this M&M challenge. This is by Kingdom Planning, and I'm almost done with it, guys. I'm so happy. So this one's going to get 18, uh, 10, 15. 16, 17, and 18. So um, authorities ended up testing blood they found at the scene and it came back positive as a match for Jazz and Taz. And the girls were arrested in May 2010. They actually continued to claim their innocence until 2014. Uh, that year, they were actually, um, they came clean to the killing of Nikki. So, the M&M Challenge has 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. 225. And now I know where to get some cash from, like if I need change. Um, anyways, let me, where's my M&Ms? Here's my M&Ms. And I showed you guys this last time. I don't know where my little thing went. Um, that's good. Yeah, that's great. Here. Okay, so I'm gonna take some M&Ms from here. Okay, so that's a brown. Okay, we're gonna stop right there. So we got a brown, um, I'm just gonna leave it because I don't have a color brown. So brown, yellow, okay, so we did, uh, brown is one, yellow is three, red is five, and blue is eight. So it's a total of $17 for next time i really want to finish it off but i mean i won't be able to cash stuff as much i don't know we'll see um anyways so um i'm gonna go on into the details that were was given technically by the girls because they were the only ones that were there so let me move that that way so i can see what i'm cash stuffing next i oh next it will be my 100 envelope challenge so we're done with this one actually you know what let me cash stuff this one so this one is my 28 week challenge and this is made by Jesse Budgets and I do cash stuff two at a time. I'll be cash stuffing the 11 and the 17. So I think it's this, I think it's the pink. So on the morning of January 13th, the day that the girls uh, killed Nikki, um, they got into a dispute because the girls woke up late to go to school. So that's, that's what the whole argument started off as. Okay, so the twins claimed that Nikki had grabbed a pot from the stove and then attempted to hit them with it. So then, like, they wrestled it out of her hands and that Nikki ended up grabbing a knife. Okay, so the twins claimed that after they wrestled the pot from um, Nikki, she ended up grabbing a knife, right? So then the girls ended up, um, well, Jazz ended up breaking a vase um, above, like on her, over her head, over Nikki's head to pretty much like stop her from doing whatever she was going to do with that knife, right? So um, a fight ensued. So Nikki would be, would end up being stabbed by Taz while Jazz would be um, choking her. Okay, that bugged me. That was 
That was the opposite way. I'm almost done with this. I have five more sleeves left. Um, I'm actually going to put this into my 100 envelope challenge to help me finish it off because I was supposed to go ahead and unstuff it um, at the end of this month, but because I started in this month last year, so I wanted to finish it, but I don't think that's going to happen, and I don't know where I left the other one. Okay, so I don't know what happened to it, the other ones, but I'm going to be cash stuffing $85, so hopefully... So 50, 70, 85, hopefully I am right and it is empty. Where is the 85? <gasps> okay, it is empty. Oof. Okay, so where was I? So Tass began to stab Nikki and Jas was choking her. They also bit and punched her and then they placed her body into the bathtub. Um, where was I? Here, this, this one. So then both Jazz and Taz ended up pleading guilty to voluntary manslaughter in 2014 and they received 30 years sentence. Um, so where are they now, right? So they are both serving in different prisons in Georgia. This is actually done. I need to scratch off the rest of them. Uh, I came up on some cash. Uh, luckily for my old job, they, they owed me. So I was able to fully fund this one. So it's done for this year a thousand dollars is fully funded into this one so i gotta fix this i gotta scratch these off and then you know what let me let me scratch them off right now oh my god so a lot of money just fell off luckily it was just <laughs> from the 100 oh uh, from my savings challenge oof, oof. okay so i need to put a thousand dollars uh slip in this one Okay, anyway, so both they're both serving in different prisons. Um, both girls got their GED, and they were pursuing, one was pursuing a um, uh, degree in the medical field, and the other one was in doing computer courses, computer tech courses, sorry. Um, they are both eligible for parole. They both became eligible for parole in 2017, and then their projected release date will be May 19, 2040, which puts them at 47 years old, guys. They're, they're going to be 47 years old when they leave prison. Okay, so I cashed off half of this last time, so I owe it 22. So I have, okay, I have $100 for Christmas minus the 22. So I have $78 here so i'm going to be scratching until i reach the 78 okay so i owe it 17 dollars i really thought that i would be you know getting through it <laughs> so i owe it 40 so no 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 i owe it 17 dollars and i still have one two three four left to scratch off this one's taking forever. So next time I will be cash stuffing 17. I'm actually done with the story. So just let me know what you guys think of the story. I have more coming. A lot of suggestions. Thank you so much. Christmas has 1, 2, 3, 400, 450, 70, 90, 500. What? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 5, 15. Yay. Woo. Hubby's going to be happy to hear that. Okay, so I have cash still left. What was it? What was it that he told me to put it in? Mm, vacation and something else. So vacation's going to get the other hundred, I think. Hopefully I'm not wrong. So vacation has one, two, three, four hundred, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, ten. And then 60 bucks. What was the $60 for? Mm. He's not even home for me to ask him. Was it for birthdays? I think it was for birthdays for the boys. I'm going to put it under birthdays. So it's going to somebody. So birthdays has 51, 20, 40, 50. So 155, 56, 57. Yay. So that is that let me know what you guys think down below i already said that i know um i am gonna come back and cash stuff my um etsy pay so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and i will see you guys in the next one bye now